my friend was drafted a year ago, he is released in like four days. And he is fine actually, which is surprising. I guess he got lucky because he was sent to Murmansk actually. It's pretty far away from Ukraine, so he got very f lucky. We're like really worried about him, but it's like four days left, so we really want him to just like come to us and hug us and tell us that he's fine. I'm like more scared to like walk on streets because of the policemen who could like check my stuff, to check my passport and there is a way they could like just take me without like any way of saving my ass. They could just take me to the like the military thing. Do they literally just have like roaming packs of policemen that just yeah, like press yeah. gang random guys? The policemen roam around metro so like the biggest amount of people walk through there and they are easily, they like easily take like young people who are probably already out of the university but still haven't found a job they pick those they pick those guys and like check their documents and send them somewhere to death so do you have like a bug out bag for this if it, this scenario just like pack a couple of clothes and I'm ready to go I won't be taking my PC because it's pretty huge <laughs> and uh, I really hope I will not I would I just really hope that I will study uh, like four more years again no I have one more year and then I think two more years and then I will just try to flee to some country like maybe to Georgia or to Canada or to the Netherlands because like I have a couple of friends everywhere around the world and some are like try to help me at some point uh, with uh, the visa and uh, the other things and so I, I, there is still a chance I will have to run. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I... I He's Russian, I, of I'm course he does! <laughs> it's, it's not because of that, okay? I don't know. I, I drink ciders, yeah. yeah. Ciders pretty much, not, not vodka, yeah. No, vodka is too much. <laughs> you don't like vodka? <laughs> nah, nah, dude, that's too much. <laughs> Bro, come on. <laughs> You're like the, the alcoholic, I guess. I- I'm not <laughs> even! Oh, 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 oh. oh my fucking god! I drink <laughs> once a week! Once out, a week! People constantly call me that! I don't even drink that often! <laughs> Wait, I barely drink! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> you do have that alcoholic energy going on. Yeah, so. you, you're like- you, you're the type of guy who would drink I don't I drink, drink <laughs> once a week! <laughs> maximum! What do they call white Russians in Russia? Shut the fuck Define up. Define a white Russian. What? <laughs> is that, is, uh, wait, is that the, yeah, it's that's the what, drink with the, like the I'm milk. talking about the drink. Yeah, yeah, it's it's it is it is yeah. it's literally translated the white Russian. Okay, okay. Oh, cool. Like the same thing. Do you like white Russians? I don't drink vodka, Moxy. Stop, stop that. <laughs> yeah. Those glasses, yeah, you don't me? tell me you're not. Yeah, yeah, I've heard those glass bottles. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, wait, I did. I have heard those glass bottles. <laughs> that actually is a bottle of vodka, but I'm not a fucking alcoholic. <laughs> yeah, 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 I know it. For sure, for sure. For sure, dude. For sure. Not a, I'm in my kitchen, fuck you! <laughs> for sure. <laughs> no, you're just you're just trying to have fun. You just want to live a happy life. I mean, if True. you if you don't drink alone, if you, and if you don't drink like every day, you're not an alcoholic. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. <laughs> 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 What the fuck? Why yeah, are you yeah. laughing at that? <laughs> you are, that is what it's Fuck funny. you! <laughs> <laughs>
I almost never drink, dude. Why are you fucking like this? Hey, guys, we're pretty good. We're, we're, we're friends, right? We're friends, right? Do you want to watch the Cheers? Oh, my face. Do you wanna do you wanna watch the Curious George movie with me? Not gonna lie, I've been thinking about it. I kinda hate Curious George. <laughs> I've definitely seen Curious George multiple times and enjoyed it. Man, fuck this. <laughs> <laughs> so fuck. I don't actually remember quite how old I was. I know I must have been in elementary school. I went over to like my mom's friend's house. And my mom's friend had kids. I didn't really know the kid, but you know, he was my mom's friend's kid, whatever. So they were all hanging out and drinking, you know, doing Ohio things. We decided to get on their bikes that they had. And because this was an elementary school, a lot of the details are foggy, but the image, the image in my brain is crispy clear. I can't fucking forget it. We're riding around on these bikes. I hit something, and I trip, fall over, and land on the ground. I fall off my bike, and my arm is outstretched. I'm on the ground, and my arm is just outstretched in front of me. I open my eyes, I see in front of me, this kid, he's, he's coming towards me on his bike. He's a ways off. He's not fucking close to me. He's like back there. And I'm on the ground like in pain like, hey, help. And he's still coming at me, and I'm like, he uh, he's not slowing down. He's really not slowing down. And he keeps getting closer, and he's not fucking slowing down. And he just runs right the fuck over my arm. Just smashes my arm. Painful as fuck, I remember it. I have the image of it in my head, it is burned in there. Burned in my fucking retinas. Everyone hears me fucking scream. People start running over, and this kid's like, It was an accident, the brakes weren't working and I'm looking at him like you little fucking rat shit the brakes were working fine you didn't hit the fucking brakes you didn't even try to hit the fucking brakes you little fucker I told my parents that I was fucking mad they didn't do anything about it and that fucking kid got away with it and I never saw that kid again after that that shit still pisses me off he just got to fucking scot-free break my arm and then I never saw him again like, I, I don't know. I'm still a little bit pissed about it, and I've been thinking about, like, finding this kid and maybe beating his ass. You know, vaping is like a community thing. It really is. It really brings people together, nicotine. Mox, you light a cigarette? Nah, nah. Aren't you addicted? Don't you want one? Not right now. You guys yeah. are so fucking pathetic. Real smokers just smoke whenever the fuck they want. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe how you were raised, but I yep, have manners. I think you've never heard this song, Day and what? Night. Day no, and night. I don't <laughs> think so, Fido. <laughs> the Lordy Stone is in the free night. Seems to forget you're fine at night. Santino, shut your bitch boy wife mouth up and smoke more. Wait, okay, I'm gonna do one more carbon max. Ready? Okay. How many hits do I have to take to get to the level of Taylor Swift's jet fuel emission? My New Year's resolution is, um, 1920 by 1080. You okay, Summer? You alive, buddy? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our magical Christmas concert. Tonight, we embark on a magical journey filled with timeless classics and festive cheer. Before we dive into the melodies, I want to express gratitude to all who made it tonight. Our talented performers have poured their heart outs into... It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas <laughs> Everywhere you go My girl came over 
This was, uh, I think I was like 16, and I dated this girl for like a year. And she came over. We were kicking in my room, doing our thing, chilling, and everything was cool. Everything was cool. She brought over this like fire ass massage machine. Pretty cool. It was like this, it was nice. Anyways, we're po- Posted up, man, and uh, I'm on my phone, I'm doing something, and I see that like one of my family members posted a photo, which happens to be a female. I like the photo. I move on with my day. Well, 20 minutes later, I get decked in the fucking face, like rocked, like absolutely fucking rocked in my shit, bro. Like, holy fuck, bro, chick rocked the fuck out of me, dog. And I'm like, oh my god, I'm like, what, I'm just shocked. I'm like, what the fuck? What the fuck? You're liking bitches photos! Bro, oh, I'm like, what? What chick? Who did I like? What? And she shows me. I'm like, I'm like, bro, that's my cousin. You are a fucking moron. I was like, bro, get out. Like, here's your, take your fucking massage machine. I ordered an Uber. I was like, bro, get the fuck out, and I sent her home. And what did you say when you said it was your cousin? She didn't give a fuck, bro. She didn't give no fuck. She was screaming at me, bro. She was probably like bullshit. Just kept going off and like, it's like, dog, that's literally my fan, bro. There's some women that could rock me in my shit, but not her. As the snowflakes twirl outside, we are about to be wrapped in the cozy warmth of a truly magical performance. Does anyone want to take a hit with me? Don't cry, snowman. Don't you fear the sun? Who'll carry me with our legs to run, honey? With our legs to run, honey? Don't cry, snowman. Don't you shut a tear? Who'll hear my secrets if you don't have ears, baby? If you don't have ears, baby? That yes, is the same drug. crack is like crack is a completely different high than coke. And what's the difference? I've never smoked fucking crack. I don't know. Then how would you roll? Hey, Dad. What the fuck is the difference between smoking crack and smoking coke? Because crack is pure, and you cook out all the bullshit. Dad, come here. Wait, can so you explain you a little bit? Crack, crack is, is different than coke. Crack's the more pure one. Why? Motherfucker, put the burrito down. Explain the difference between crack and coke. Not that you would know or anything, but like... <laughs> not that you would know, but like... Come here, just... He's trying to get ready for work, and you guys want him to talk about crack cocaine? Are you serious? My yeah, guy's trying to get ready exactly. for his job, and you guys want him to come explain crack? <laughs> he said, he said, he said, it goes straight into your fucking bloodstream, and your ears just start ringing. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> that doesn't sound pleasant. Not that he would know. It's, we, we just no, read it a lot like of books. Shell shock the drug. We just read a lot of books. I don't know, you tried shrooms and shit? I've never done shrooms. I know a lot about shrooms. They've definitely never done that before, don't know. Uh huh, of course. Yeah, yeah, of course. Tell me hypothetically about shrooms. What's your, what has your experience been with shrooms, hypothetically? So one time, hypothetically, I was at my mother's house and my sister left and she had this big old fucking big ass jar of mushrooms, like big old fat, strong shrooms. I called her, she was at a party and I was like, yo, bro, you got shrooms in your room. And I had never done them before. And she's like, Hey, you want to do some? She wasn't even there. And I was, was like, sure. I'm down to try it. All right, so get a scale, take a plastic bag, zero it, and then put the shrooms on top of the bag and weigh yourself out like two grams. I definitely didn't weigh them right. That was definitely not the right way to do it because now I know how to use a fucking scale. Like, I, I don't know. I don't know what happened, but there was a lot. Anyways, I eat these shrooms. They tasted fucking good. I don't know why people bitch, but they tasted bomb. I'm sitting in my room, and I start off by watching Trolls, okay? I'm watching the Trolls movie, and I'm just okay. geeking, bro. I'm geeking watching Trolls. This shit's wild, bro. Like, these little fucking creatures are going nuts. And, like, I just felt really weird and, like, really connected to these trolls. And I was laughing so much, and it was funny, hypothetically. And, um... I decided I wanted to play Call of Duty, so I play Call of Duty World War II and I start the campaign. The beginning of the Call of Duty World War II campaign, 
you're uh, you're storming D-Day on Normandy Beach, and like it starts off with like you're talking to your buddies in the boat, and y'all get on your ships, and like you're you're rolling up to Normandy Beach, you're looking at a picture of your lady, you're like fuck, bro, like I gotta make it back to my girl, and like I felt really, I felt like I was this character, I, I felt like I was there, bro, like I was my lady, bro, like we gotta make it back to her, you know, like holy shit, and uh, yeah. Yeah, man, we, we pull up, we were on the beach, and it's all of us, but we're all packed into this boat. It's fucking scary, bro. It's like, what's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? Oh my god, bro, like, I straight up, bro, I feel like I got fucking PTSD from this, my guy. Like, I, I feel like I was there, bro. Like, the door drops. Bro, motherfuckers are dying, bro. Blood everywhere. Motherfuckers are getting murked, rolled down by these Germans, bro. Straight up. And, like, I'm like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, what the fuck do I do? What do I do? All these people in front of me dying, getting butchered, and all of a sudden, my character, he takes the initiative. He jumps over the side of the wall, we're in the water. I'm like, holy shit, there's fucking bullets flying at me in the water, I'm fucking dodging them and shit, you know what I'm saying? And like, dude, I'm just like, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, holy fuck. Finally, I, I swim out of the water, I swim out of the water, bro, swimming, swimming, swimming. I get to that fucking shoreline, bro, thank God, I get behind one of those big ass crosses, you know, the big metal cross things that were on Normandy Beach, I don't know what the fuck those were, I'm right behind one, bro, I'm right behind one, I kid you not, bro, I was crouched behind there for like 20 minutes, just like, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, bullets flying at me, people around me dying, motherfuckers are getting blown up, someone's screaming on the floor, they're missing a leg, and I'm like, oh my God, oh my God, I'm gonna die. Finally, I'm like, bro, okay, I gotta make a move. Everyone's dying, I gotta do something, bro. I, I gotta stop this. So I fucking, I push up. I push up. I'm killing motherfuckers, bro. Ba ba ba, ba ba ba, ba ba ba. You know, killing Germans. I'm gonna fuck, bro. I'm out here, Nazis. You know what I'm saying? Just murdering fools, right? Making it, making my way up Normandy Beach, storming it, storming it. Finally, you know, we're getting there. My homie fucking Haynes, he's talking to me. He's like, hey, hey, we're good. You're good. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. I'm like, yeah, we're gonna make it. Shooting at the turrets. Die, die. You know, like, freaking out, bro. I felt like I was really there. Like, shit was happening. I'm on Normandy Beach. Really cool experience. But, anyways, finally, we make it to the sandbar. We make it to the sandbar. And he's like, bro, we're good. We're good. We do some shit. We throw up these, like, big stick grenade things. We blow shit up. I'm running, I'm storming it. Finally, we're in the fucking, we're in the trenches, bro. We're in the trenches, bro. Ba ba ba, ba ba ba, killing motherfuckers. I'm there, bro. Hide and do my thing. And finally, boom, I get smoked. Holy oh, shit! No. Ah! Are you back in Normandy? You're not in Normandy anymore. Anyways, okay? bro. Anyways, bro. So look, check me out. We're fucking. I get, I, I get shot. I'm dead. I'm dead. I kid you not. I entered a different world. I don't know what the fuck happened to COD. I don't know what happened to the controller. But I was no longer me. I died. Ego death. Happened. Anyways, I'm on the phone for the next four hours with my brother-in-law. Asking him, who am I? Where am I? What is going on? Who am I? Where am I? What is going on? Rolling around in my bed. Fucking tweaking. Tweaking, okay? And then... I fucking go, I'm like, bro, I need a shower, I don't feel so good, so I go take a shower, but my mom was cleaning the shower curtain that day, so there ain't no curtain, but I was too shroomed out to realize there ain't no curtain, so I'm taking a shower, there's water getting everywhere, but I don't realize, and my shower had like these marble walls, so all the walls were turning into different faces and staring at me, and it was freaking me out, but anyways, I take my shower, I forgot towels in existed so I just walk out of the shower I go I put on some fucking clothes finally and I go to my mom and I'm like mom I don't feel very good I don't feel very good my mom's home this whole time by the way I'm like mom I don't feel very well and she's like oh blah blah, blah. I don't remember what the fuck happened but apparently I spoke to my mother and said some shit anyways <laughs> I continue tweaking I made popcorn I didn't actually eat the popcorn I just ended up crushing all of it with my hands don't know why I didn't eat it <laughs> Yeah, bro, a few hours later, my sister finally comes back from a party, and, like, the shroom high was over, I was good. She comes home, and she's like, bro, what the fuck, are you good? I'm like, what are you talking about? Yeah, bro, that was great. And she's like, dude, you were on the phone with name for fucking, you know, five hours, asking who you were and where you were. And then while I'm talking to my sister, my mom comes into the room, and she's like, hey, are you feeling better? And I'm like, uh, yeah. And my sister looks at me, and she's like, bro, what the fuck? What did you say to mom? And I'm like... I don't know. I don't know. I died. I wasn't me, you know? And, uh, yeah, in the end, that was, uh, that was my mushroom experience, and, uh, I don't really like mushrooms. All right, next psychedelic, what Thank you got you for me? Thank you for your service. My snowman and me, 
my snowman and me baby Okay, fucking unmute your fucking mic and fucking clap. Holy shit. Oh my god. Yay. I'm looking to see who's not doing it. By the way, I'm looking to see whose mic is lighting up, so don't be a dick. Um, thank you guys so much. I just wanted to put a little, I just wanted to put something a little silly together because I have, ow, I haven't seen someone do it in a while, so. Thanks to all the performers and all of the singers and all of the uh, people who um, said yes to me and did crazy shit for me and was silly with me. And I'm so happy everyone showed up. Yay! Okay, that's it. Bye. Yay! Yay! Our talented cast embodying the iconic characters invite us to share in the awe-inspiring story of the first Christmas. Please clap. Let's hush our voices, open our hearts, and behold the nativity scene. A long time ago in a town called Nazareth, there lived a young woman called Mary and a young carpenter called Joseph. They loved Shut each other very up. much, and they also loved God very much. Mary of Nazareth was a very special because God had chosen her to be mother of his only son. God has sent the angel Gabriel to ask Mary if she would be the mother of God. Mary, you are the chosen one. Soon after the angel's visit, Herod, the ruler of the land, gave an order. By request of the emperor, everyone must return to the town they were born to pay a special tax. Joseph was worried. He was born in a place called Bethlehem. It was a long way away and Mary's baby was due any time. Joseph and Mary knew they had to go and they prepared for the journey. Santino crashed. I fucking hate my life. Emmy fucking hates me, thinks I'm a fucking piece of shit. Boxy thinks I'm a fucking piece of shit because I abandoned him. I'm just a fucking <laughs> loser, bro. I'm nothing. Man, it nah, was bro. gonna be so hard. Fuck cats we, and we rode up on stage. Angle, bro. I ruined riding everything. on the donkey. Uh, yeah, I ruined everything. With me on the donkey, it would have been fire, bro. Fucking, the shit was perfect, bro. Shit was literally perfect. The play was perfect. Everything was set in motion. I was supposed to sing Silent Night, and now my life's fucking ruined. It's over. There's nothing I can do. There's nothing it is I can over. do. To fix this. I'm yeah, cool, Jordan. I was just talking about how my life's fucking ruined. Oh my god, what happened? Dude, you didn't I got get in the fucking. Play. I, yeah, I didn't get in the play. I disconnected, um, and it's just fucked. It's over. Like that was my big break, Jordan. That was my big break. <laughs> <laughs> maybe it's not funny. Maybe my we can Photoshop your voice there or something. Oh wait, that doesn't work. My night, my night is never gonna get better. No, my life's okay, ruined. guys. It's ruined. It's not <laughs> funny, bro. I'm, it's, I'm ruined. Why are you laughing at me? <laughs> Emmy fucking hates me because I fucked up her whole play. I ruined the no, play. She, everyone there hates you. me. No, Jordan. No. Everyone hates me there. Everyone hates. I'm just such a piece of shit. Yeah, you don't have to lie. I fucked up everything. Everything. My streaming career, my life, my, my, like, everything's just fucked. Who the fuck is this guy? Yo, Sir Moore. Hey, who the fuck are, are you? Are you serious? Does Emmy actually What is hate happening? Him? Who, yes, Jordan, who is this guy? Who is, yes, she does. Yeah, Stop lying. No, she but who is this guy? What the fuck are you she about? fucking hates me because so I bro. ruined her Christmas play. Yo, no, hey, you didn't? dude. Hey, Brabbit, Brabbit, listen, I ruined her fucking play. I ruined her he fucking ruined play. The Christmas I need some play. He really did. I need some Moxie, fucking alcohol. You know, I need a drink. That, I just you know, ruined her like fucking that. play. Is that, is listen, that dude. No, I ruined, ruined her fucking the play. play. I fucking ruined he it. Was far, he was, he was, he was, listen, and that's listen, he I'm was the sheep in the nativity scene. And he what? fucked it up. I thought I was supposed to be the sheep. I was supposed to say, you want to hear my line with guys? Let me, wait. Shut up! Let me do my line! Cause I deserve to, okay? Ready? 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 Mm. We might wake up the baby Jesus. You know how good that was? You know how much I practiced that? Hold on, let me sing Silent Night for you guys. Let me sing fucking Silent Night really quick. Hold on. Ready? Ready? 
Wait, what? Sandy, no, can you, you stand like, right up here? Silent <laughs> night. Uh, wait, 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 wait. I need the. Oh, I need the. Oh, night. she deleted the night. She deleted the lines because she literally removes my lines because I'm such a piece of fucking shit. That the oh lines aren't God. even there. And now I have to Google. <laughs> okay, ready? Silent night. Holy night. I was gonna do that and everyone was gonna fucking go crazy. And now it's ruined. Don't clap. Ooh. Don't clap. Tell me how much of a fucking Ooh. piece of shit I am for I won't fucking do that ruining you're not. it. You're a piece of shit. No. Yeah, I'm just a piece of shit. Piece of shit. Never I'm never gonna get anything you're a piece back. Of shit. I might as well just fucking ruin it. I'm you. I'm genuinely aware that I'm a fucking stupid piece of shit. Understand? I don't give a fuck about that play. I don't care. Dude, Tino, you're yelling at me, and if you yell at me, I'm gonna cry. Yeah, whatever. I hate my life. Here. Oh my god. <laughs> Moxie joins me and he goes, You piece of shit, you're on in two seconds. And I go, No, Moxie, wait, please, don't go. Like, I can't, I can't get in, help. And he just left. You guys are cheering me up, but I really do feel like my life is ruined. Like, I genuinely it feel is. like I'm it just, is. Fuck you. I bet you have scoliosis. <laughs> Sorry, my back's really hurting, so I'm thinking about scoliosis. Please follow me on Twitch, I have scoliosis. <laughs> <laughs> We should kill this guy. Oh I'm having God. a good time! Don't you see me on this fucking donkey? Don't you see me on this donkey? You know how much fun I'm having? Holy fuck! I'm like, fuck, shit. man! Oh my God! It ruined my night! It ruined my fucking night! I have nothing left! And they don't actually want love, but all I want to do is love someone, and I can't! I can't! I fucking is can't! I hate my can life! I, can I ask a I personal can't question? I can't fucking love anyone! No one's gonna love me! I'm alone, oh bro! God. I have no one! <laughs> okay, Dude, I was just wondering... I considered cooking meth! Oh, I just wanted to go start a meth lab, because I'm so fucking broke! Breaking bad from getting my goddamn head! I can't fucking think anymore! Because I swear to God, <laughs> I need money! I can't even afford fucking cat food to eat for myself! Uh, and it's fucked up! <laughs> what the fuck do you want from me? <laughs> Holy shit, man! Holy shit! I can't keep oh doing this God. anymore. Don't bring pizza rolls to my house, please. I have PTSD. Oh my God! I would not agree. I can't be here anymore. I don't think you got the message of the story, Jorian. No, no, I get it, but like, it's no, fine, I don't think you know. You, get it. Did you even pick up on the biblical you know, symbolism. Dude, I used to be Christian before my mom became a whore. Like every morning, sitting here and fucking thinking my to myself, wow, I'm such a piece of shit. I fucked that play up. I did. Aww. I ruined everything. There was no sheep. No one said ba. There was no one around to, to, to save that show. And you know what? You know what I have to, 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 to fix my problems? To, to get me to stop thinking about this fucking play? The fact that, that now I'm just a hated piece of shit by all these people. $330? Okay, Santino, Santino, I had a timer set because I can only take 15 minutes of this shit. I'm out of here. Fuck okay, you. I'm done. I'm done. Okay. Alright, goodbye. I'm going to the fucking hot tub. I'm getting out of here. Goodbye. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. Did I just witness? <laughs> I feel like I need food to sit here and tolerate this. I wish I could flip you off. Get free Baja Blast at this Taco Bell though. This guy, this employee, because I go there a lot at like around 9 p.m. I ask for like a small Baja Blast and he'll like hook me up for free. He'll just like give it to me. That's sweet. That's fucking sweet. He's my superhero. The week before I quit my job, this really tiny uh, local pet supply store, we have these really um, good dog biscuits. Like, they look fucking amazing. And I was like, you know what? Fuck it. Me and my coworker, we were like, you know what? We're going to split one in half and we're going to eat it because all the ingredients were human grade. And we ate it and it tasted like mini wheats. It was so fucking good. And like, I've been thinking about them. I've been thinking about them. I, I have the most them. horrified face on my face right now, but you can't see it. No, okay. I, I'm it, astonished. It, it, sounds, it sounds weird, but it literally is like applesauce like, and like... I can understand like, when you're it. like six, because when I was like seven, you know those like biscuit or those like bacon bites yeah. things? Yeah, yeah, I ate those when like I was that. like six.
No, it's like it's like an actual cookie, and for the icing, they use carobs, so it looks exactly like a human cookie, but it's, like, cuter, and it's just, like, a biscuit dipped in, like, this fucking icing, and it's, like, a paw print one, and it's all decorated, and it's so cute, and I ate it, and it tasted like some kind of apple mini wheats, like, the carob was, like, really sweet, and... And another dog biscuit that we ate is called Grandma Lucy's, and they're made in the same factory as Teddy Grahams. They're just Teddy Grahams, but, like, made with cane sugar. So we fucking, well, like, we took a bag, and we open it, and we eat it. There's, like, pumpkin flavors, and it tastes like pumpkin pie, and it's really fucking good. And the customers would look at us, and then we'd offer it to them, and the customers would eat it, and they'd be like, holy shit. Just hit my microphone. Just you sit behind Till and there's nothing to do and you like are looking at these biscuits and you're hungry and you're like, fuck, dude. And you grab them and then you take a bite out of them. <laughs> I used to steal burgers from my old workplace. I used to work in a kitchen. I would yeah. just like go behind the line every day and like make myself a burger. Nobody fucking cared. I would just like make exactly. myself a burger, put bacon on it, put avocado on it. Nobody yeah. gives a shit. Just it's like the part of it. That's like the best part. That's like exactly why you showed up at job. something. <laughs> shit was a garbage fire the owner like he cheated on his wife with like a staff member and then his wife killed himself oh. or killed herself oh. and then he married that staff member two weeks later now that i'm not working there there's so much shit that i can talk about so the guy that cheated on his wife his name's mike and mike is like the best guy ever which is like I but, he cheated on his wife, but like he's like but super fucking. He's the nice. best guy ever. But he's the best guy. He treated the staff really well. <laughs> I got hired before he, um, before he. <laughs> I swear to God, it just so this guy like, made his Christmas. wife kill him, kill herself. But he's really cool. No, like, it's not like, like that. She was like, I, what I heard, what I heard, what I heard. I've never met the guy. This is all that I heard is that he treated everyone. He was super nice. He donated to a bunch of charities. He treated his staff really well. Every Christmas, he'd come with a big bag of shit and there'd be like a nintendo switch in there or like a 200 dollar like fucking nerf gun in there and shit and he'd Holy give you whatever shit. i know and he was really nice and then he he cheated on his wife with the staff member and she was really mentally ill and she killed herself and he married that staff member and then they moved to the mainland to retire so huh. and then he sold it for two fucking i know shit's crazy Anyway, dog biscuits are good if they're human grade, and I've eaten dog pepperoni and shit too. Not made out of dogs. And that was also really good. He owned it. Like, it wasn't just the manager, he owned it. Everyone knew him because his pet store has been there for like 50 years, and he's been really in the community and shit. I don't know, there's a lot of shit, like, there's a lot of cheating that go goes on there. Like, <laughs> no, like genuinely, my communications manager, she went to, oh god, what happened? Okay, so... You can bleep out the name of where I work, but these stories, if you want to put them in, sure, fucking go ahead. My communications manager, she worked with some girl, and at the staff party, she met this girl's husband, and she stole that husband from her. So she made out Do with I that husband, so he cheated on her with, and like, shit went down. Yeah, so she stole that husband from that girl, and then my normal manager, she cheats on her husband with the uh, uh, next door there's a tire place she slept with the owner of that place and one of the guys there that's genuinely what she told me first like couple of months of working there she told me about how comfortable was this person with you she she was a grown woman like, with children they so no this, this workplace like has no boundaries friend. no like this workplace had no boundaries <laughs> i was like laying on my back trying to take a nap and my communications manager when she worked there she came into the room when my manager was there and they started talking about something and like i clued in when i heard my communication manager go so you've had a threesome right and she was like yeah obviously and i looked at them because <laughs> i was like you guys are really talking about this right now in front of me and they talked about their fucking threesome my communications manager talked about when she hooked up with two twin brothers and like i a lot there is a lot that i've learned about them in the span of two years um my manager before i moved or before i left she hooked up with her old best friend's son to get a gate key for a logging road to hike on and and he was cheating on his girlfriend with her i still live here until next 
Sunday. Do you ever and like? Then I'm out of here. Do you ever like walk by that like pet store? Yesterday was my last day, so yeah. Oh, <laughs> I'm going that's back where you were boxes. working. Oh shit. Yeah, I'm still on good terms with literally all of them, but like I, shit was insane because like there was one time my regional manager, who's best friends with my normal manager. There's a lot of managers. I'm sorry. She came up to me and we had a two-hour event session about how my manager is uh, not being a good parent and her best friend was thinking about calling child services on her because she was ignoring her children, leaving them without food. Her daughter was talking about how she wanted to kill herself and her, like, like my manager like took her phone away for two weeks gave it back after she was tired about hearing them complaining and then when her daughter started talking about how she might be bisexual and like maybe liking girls that's when my manager was like hey fuck you you're not allowed to like girls because that's fucking disgusting no relationship for that it's just gross okay. even though she's talked okay. about how she's hooked up with girls before my manager to me um, it's way too expensive on the island right now, and I'm trying to do a tattoo uh, apprenticeship, ideally. You can't do an apprenticeship if you want to live here. Like, you have to work full time. I'm moving back there because there's like eight fucking tattoo shops in my hometown, and also I have family and friends there, which is gonna be great because I kind of need the support mentally and shit. But I realized since I moved here, I say this not to be like oh, oh my god like pity me but like for the last four years since i moved here i've spent christmas my birthday like every holiday alone because like my mother would just ditch me and go somewhere so i'm really excited to be able to hang out with my friends on my birthday or hang out with my family on christmas and shit so shit's cheaper <laughs> that's like that's really it that's <laughs> family oh shit you know what the sun sets because it's up north so like the sun sets are so much better and mm. you can see the northern lights sometimes so ask me a question once you get your answer you were looking for you get upset yeah that's what you do buddy that's what you do don't you huh yeah yeah What would you do in the Vietnam War then, huh? Yeah, I'm mewing. I'm mewing. Yeah. I can't stop. It's a part of me. <laughs> <laughs> Can you really be called an alcoholic if all you drink is Trulies? Yeah, it's true. <laughs> You're a stealthy no, guy. I don't think you can. You're just drinking hard soda, dude. Motherfucker downs a 12 pack of seltzers a day, but he's still not an alcoholic because they're seltzers. <laughs> true. Boxy, stream. Boxy, why are you so dumb? Just stream. Like, I don't understand your fucking mindset. <laughs> you're literally oh making God. me waste my own life. You're making me waste my own life and my potential because you're not streaming. You know what? Actually, I remember today. What? I actually remember what was crazy. Boxy, you're when wasting your own work life. Early, I was sitting there for like two hours with nothing to do. And I thought to myself, like, wow, it'd be great if I had some, like, content to watch for, like, two hours. And That's guess who wasn't fucking live on Twitch? So many people will see the notification of you going live and be like, oh my god, my boy thing! And, like... <laughs> <laughs> I frequently... <laughs> I frequently think about how nice it would be to watch a Moxie stream once in a while. I had a dream about this guy fucking streaming the other day. Prophecy. Dead ass. Bro, a dead prophet. ass. What happened Do in it. I'm telling you. I was just watching your stream. Santino? Well, I, don't really, I don't remember that. Moxie. That was it was too long ago to to recall on the dream, but it happened. Fair enough. My prophecy will come true, just he needs to do it. Dude, we need Moxie to stream. We need Santino to mooch off of him. Don't say it like that, asshole. I'm not mooching. I'm not mooching. Okay, I'm orbiting. Okay, we need okay, we that's need what Moxie Santino called it. Moxie orbiting. <laughs> yeah, I'm ovulating. Marcy, I'm ovulating you. I'll be bigger than Aiden Ross and Kaisenat. Yes, sir. You definitely won't. I'll be bigger than Who the five fuck inches. said that? Who said that? Marcy, was that you? Your resolution? What, me? Um. Who said that? Who did that? I think it was you, Moxie. Fuck you. Wait, what? No, I didn't. Say shit. Someone did it. It had to have been you. It fucking wasn't! I hear voices again. Bro, y'all are gaslighting me. I said I'd be bigger than Aiden Ross, and someone said, no, you won't. I swear I heard it. I didn't say that! Dude, that's your inner I monologue. I literally am standing right here. I did not hear it. They said it, yo. They said it really quiet. Like, they were far away from their mic, like, in a creepy way. So maybe I'm hearing voices. 
<laughs> I don't know what's <laughs> that. No, I just said no. <laughs> no, <laughs> stop lying. Like, no, stop. 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 Yeah. Yeah. stop fucking with my head. Wrong. One of you did it. You guys are clowning on me. Whoever said that's a bitch. Dude, you guys are fucking with me, right? Someone heard that. Cats, come on, I had your back no. the other day. I'm sorry, Santino, I'm Look, pretty if sure. If anyone said it, it was Cats. Yeah, I fucking if hate you guys. Said it. What? Someone no, did a bit. Hey, someone was him him. Stop fucking with me. Now. It wasn't me. Bro, maybe know, it was dude. like in the song that I was listening Moxie's to. Moxie's voice sounds genuine. Bro, that's freaky. Hey, it must have been in the song I was listening to. Inside out, live in the beat I look at. What are you talking about? Okay, it was Wheezy. It was Wheezy. I'm going to finish my book this year. You're gonna yeah. hold, me, hold me to that. There That's you hard. Go. Yeah. That's hard. When you finish your book, can I get like the first copy <coughs> and put it in my bookshelf? That sure. I don't have yet? Yay! What? Yeah, why I don't wanna buy why a does copy? Aries get the first copy? I want the It's so loud. That is so fucking loud! What the fuck kind of typewriter are you using? <laughs> I said I'm proud of you, brah. I'm... Without the H. Okay. Is that fucking mechanical? Yeah, it's a mechanical keyboard. Do you guys want Jesus. me to mute? Do you guys want me to mute when I'm like just doing stuff like this? Just wondering. If you ever need me to shut up, literally, like, I'm not gonna be offended. Like, the amount of times, like, people have told me that they hate me or that they shut up, like, I will say okay, and I will, like, respect your boundaries. <clears throat> hey, Tino? What? Are we good, bro? Yeah, we're good. Do you guys remember Mr. Popper's penguin? <laughs> I do. <sighs> Are you climbing? You gotta you? understand that Counter Strike is a curse, Sir Moore. You don't get what it's like to lose on office and then dust. And a bunch of penguins get shipped. Yeah. Seriously? This is legitimately fucking kindergarten class. This is a kindergarten class. No, I'm listening to this playlist, but it just, it just feels like bread. Timmy won't stop singing, and Bobby won't stop fucking screaming. He won't stop fucking screaming. What am screaming. I doing? Which one am I? I'm so excited right now. I don't know. I just fucking saw it in the glass eating glue. I'm not Bobby. What the fuck is a fem cell? Maybe I shouldn't text this chick. Oh, it's a. Uh, it's like someone who listens to Misky or Hole or. What? Uh, don't get me wrong, I like Misky. Don't get me wrong, I like Hole. Oh, yeah, Misky! Oh, I like Wayne like Pilot! Like I like, I like one. Fear the Gospel or whatever the fuck they're called. Shut the fuck up, you nerd. You super fucking absolute nerd, you fucking- Wait, wait. You fucking- I said I like the one band. That just reminded me of a story. You're woke and triggered. You're woke and triggered. You're woke and triggered. I'm woke and triggered, bro? You're the you dumbest motherfucker, Dawa. You're the stupidest fucking fuck ever fucking I guy. I got you on photo being woke. I got you on photo being woke and dense. Sermo photographed it. It was a better year than a, uh, than the last couple of years. It went overall good, I think. For, for me personally, at least. Was your year even better with me in it? <laughs> I can't say that you were net positive, but at this time I can't say that you're too much of a net negative. You're definitely there, but I don't know how much. So you're all right in my book. Well, there's no such thing as being negative or positive. It's how you interpret everything, Dawa. Maybe you're interpreting. Why don't you go interpret some bitches, bro? <laughs> Get <from the> VR <laughs> Why are you go interpret some bitches, you dumb fuck? You fucking idiot! Get the, get the fuck out! Why are you gonna interpret some bitches, you fucking moron? Holy shit! You freak! Go, you gotta pay attention. That was crazy. Me, You're saying the same stuff that he said. Me head. You're saying the same shit that he said. I'ma fuck you up. Matter 
fact, dog. Here's a pencil. Go home, write some shit, make it suspenseful, and don't come back until something dope hits you. Fuck it. You can take the mic yeah, home with you. Take the mic home with you. Looking like a cyclone hit you. K top screaming, Lotto, screaming I Lotto, I don't bitch don't you. Bitch you see how far the mic will get you? Boys, like, how vanilla I is going this you? I also want to advance my career in 2024. Oh yeah, animation and drawing. I'm gonna finish my film for school and then hopefully I'm gonna use that to apply to things once it's fully complete and done. And then I'll be good. Then I'll be fine. And then I will in my existence in this theocracy. What does that word mean? I don't know. So I'll use it anyways. Theocracy. That's that's a movie no. with um Dad Shepard, but he's really, 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 really dumb. And then that one guy from the Wes Anderson movies becomes the president. So in middle school, at the end of like eighth grade, I transferred to a completely new school in a completely new place. No, I still quiet. It's just like overflown now. And after a while, I had made like a friend there, like a sort of friend who was like a, just a person who would talk to me. Um, he was like a very typical band kid. He had like the Russian hat. It was like 2017 or something, so he'd say like bleat and like all that stuff, and he would put like bees in everything he said. And one day we get an assignment in class, but he's like my partner. We have to, uh, write and perform a parody song. We choose the song, and we have to like make a parody version of it, like Weird Al or whatever. I think he got like nervous when we were about to perform. Just for like some context, I was not doing well in this school at all. I was having a really awful time. I like talked to none of the kids and I was making no friends. I looked really odd. So it was, uh, was kind of just like two weird kids going up about to present, you know, this song. And then all of a sudden, when we're about to like start singing, he's like, excuse me, Mr. Teacher, I actually have to uh, uh, piss like really badly. I need to piss like so badly. And she's like, what? And he's like, yes, now. And she's like, you're about to perform. He's like, no, I need to go now. You're embellishing on my liberties or whatever. And she's like, what the hell are you talking about? He fucking left me to just sit there and he was gone for like 10 minutes and i was literally just standing there in front of the class and the teacher made me wait there i was like super tiny and scrawny and sometimes kids would like physically grab me so i was always like real timid and scared uh so i did not like being up there and eventually he came back and he had to perform it and it was really funny because he was just like he was freaking the fuck out the whole time and I just had to stand up there for a really long time. He, he really fucked me over that day. He was trying to chicken out, but he made it a lot harder than it had to be. You know, I wasn't happy about being up there either. But did I, what, did, did I leave? No. He said, no, 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 I have to piss. And it was fucking fake. Everyone knew it was fake. Everyone said, he doesn't have to go piss. Don't put his name in. He said, I still talk to him. Uh... But yeah, that, he really fucked me over when we were 13. The reason he didn't want to perform was because he thought the parody sounded like a Minecraft parody. Like at the last second, after we'd spent like a week writing it, he's like, wait, this sounds like a Minecraft parody. That's cringe. They're gonna think I'm cringe. That was like his thing, I think. He was like anxious about it and embarrassed because he thought it was like Minecraft and he thought it was cringe. But it wasn't even like explicitly Minecraft. We just changed the lyrics to include going to the end of like your... It was just like random bullshit that rhymed. It was like, I'll go to the end of my street and like shoot a big spider with a bow. And he's like, big spider and bow is Minecraft. I'm gonna... F I gotta piss. Yo, yeah, Sid, you know, I know you still ain't calling I left my I bitch, my, my shit at the bone at the bottom. I, sent I left you bitches back in, back in autumn. autumn. You must not have got there him. Probably there, there probably was a problem, was a problem, problem at the post office or something. Sometimes, I dress, sometimes I'm getting yeah, sweaty when I be going jogging. But anyways, hey, fuck it. What's been up, man? How's your daughter? My bitch is pregnant, too. I'm about to be a father. If I have a daughter, guess what I'm going to name him? I'm going to name him Dawa. I read about your uncle. Wrong, that dude, I'm sorry. Oh my god, it was him! The tape! It was damn. him! Oh my god, damn, it was him! He was the one that actually drove off the bridge, the guy that had been riding Eminem and Erdala, and now, now we know that he actually <laughs> did it. How did I even get- Wow, you see, holy, I read about this guy on the news, and turns out it was you? Oh my god, what a song! That white guy can really fucking write music, huh? Wow!
My tears gone cold, I'm wondering why. Got out of bed, I thought I would have raised out of my window. window. And I can't see it out. Even if I turn it off, I'll be great. Put your picture on my wall. It reminds me that it's not so bad. It's not so bad. What's with these homies dissing my girls? What are they caught up front? What did we ever do to these guys? That made them so violent. Hop about the way I turn my swag on And I know your mind